everyone so dear student in the last class we have saw sn2 mechanism so just before last class we have completed sn1 mechanism right we already know about that so in the last class we had a reaction as well as the mechanism of sn2 reaction right so where it is a uh, first of all bimolecular reaction why we are calling bimolecular is nothing but here both alkyl halide as well as nucleophile are the uh, i mean uh, rate determining step that means the two molecules are involving in the rate of a reaction so that, uh, that means in the slow step the, that, that will be the rate determining step so that's why the sn2 reaction is a bimolecular reaction and it follows a single step but uh, but sn1 it follows two steps right but here in case of sn2 what we can observe is the single step reaction what we can say right so here the intermediate formation takes place in the last class only i have uh, explained about that right so but why because uh, here there is no cap uh, there, there, there is no enough capacity uh, is there with the methyl group to remove directly chlorine why because because only the hydrogen atoms are involved or uh, attached to this particular carbon atom, uh, carbon atom so as a result that uh, as in the case of sn1 mechanism directly br will be removed because of electron donating groups such as alkyl groups but here there, there is no such case so that's why cl will not be removed to remove the cl in the first uh, step itself we must and should introduce what nucleophile so that's why in the first step only both these two are involving in the reaction so that's why it is a bimolecular reaction <clears throat> and now what happens intermediate formation takes place and then replacement of oh by removal of cl so that is the mechanism and here only very important point only inversion of inversion product we get right very important but in case of uh, sn1 inversion as well as retention product uh, product we got but here uh, for this nucleophile there is only one way to attack this methyl group or alkyl halide that is from the back side from the front side it might not it, it will not come not might not it will not come why because negative negative charge repel each other so as a result only one way uh, uh, will be uh, preferred that is from the back side if it comes from the back side then definitely uh, as it looks in the before after attack definitely oh will come uh, at this side right there is a h h and h only inversion product we, we will get not uh, i mean retention product retention product we will not get this is the major difference from the sn1 reaction right so you go through it i have explained in very uh, 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 like uh, simple way so even though if you are not getting please do ask questions right so now <clears throat> reactivity um, of alkyl halide towards sn2 reaction reactivity reactivity of alkyl halide in sn2 reaction alkyl halide in sn2 reaction so that means what type of alkyl halide will readily prefer to undergo into the sn2 reaction so that point we need to see now right so sn2 see the conditions are to uh, to form a sn2 product or to uh, to undergo any reaction into the sn2 reaction then it must and should have uh, what alkyl halide means halogen will be there no doubt but it must and should have a very open space to compound right if it is like this methyl why uh, we took uh, a methyl chloride in case of sn2 means very simple uh, reason is 
in methyl around the carbon only small h groups are there first point around the meat, uh, uh, this carbon only h group and those are very very small and now nucleophile always prefer what in the sn2 to attack from the back side if it attacking from the back side what we require we require some space to attack right some space to attack so that's why we are preferring a methyl simple methyl chloride for the sn2 reaction why because in sn2 only back side reaction is uh, possible not from the front as we saw in the case of sn2 re, uh, sorry sn1 reaction so here from, from back side reaction only uh, the preferred uh, uh, reaction so that's why what we require around that central carbon atom i want more space right then only the attack can take place very easily so now this is the case with simple methyl chloride now if i move towards the primary methyl chloride it will be like this h and h so now if i write this as open structure again for oh again there will be from the back side attack only but now what happens just a little bit crowdness is increased right so here see very easily one we can see there was a this much space for this oh to come and attack on this carbon but now what is happening because we have increased a steric hindrance steric hindrance means crowdness so on this carbon atom the crowdness has increased so if i attack now oh it is little bit tougher as compared to this right so that means reactivity i am just talking about reactivity right so now again i want to increase still more uh, what i want to increase more difficulties so now uh, h h say this as a secondary h c so primary we saw now i am coming towards the secondary so now see see the condition right in secondary again i need to attack from the back side itself right so for for uh, back side see now how much space is left in between these two hydrogen to attack oh so as i increase the uh, um, degrees i mean see here if we see the third degree or else tertiary you cannot imagine the compound also right see this is our compound and this is c here so now this is tertiary understood if i write uh, com uh, com conjugated structure then it looks like this it is actually a this compound right so now as we increase the alkyl uh, group on the particular that means the central carbon atom to which the halogen is attached the reactivity goes on increases it is just opposite of what sn1 reaction but in sn1 reaction tertiary carbocations uh, i mean tertiary butyl bromides are more reactive why because uh, in sn1 we want to form a carbocation to form a carbocation we require electron donating group but here in the case of sn2 we won't re require any formation of carbocation we require a direct removal by attacking of nucleophile so that's why in case of sn2 reaction right so methyl chlorides are more reactive simply methyl chlorides are more reactive than the primary uh, uh, i mean alkyl halide and the primary alkyl halide is more reactive than the secondary alkyl halide and the secondary alkyl halide is more reactive than the tertiary alkyl halide very simple type so you just remember why we require a very simple alkyl halide that means the methyl chloride is nothing but in a sn2 reaction only back attack is possible 
so that's why we require what a very simple type of compound to attack the nucleophile as we uh, increase the crowdness or steric hindrance definitely it will be very difficult for that particular nucleophile to come and attack the central carbon atom to which the halogen is attached right so this is the condition so that's why uh, whenever you remember this point whenever you uh, see the reactivity of alkyl halide towards the sn2 reaction keep it in mind that we want to attack from the back side itself right so from the back side uh, reaction for the back side reaction methyl chloride is the best option as an alkyl halide as compared to primary why because still difficulty is increased that means crowdness increase again coming to the secondary still more crowdness is increased and coming to the tertiary you already know what is the structure of tertiary so in tertiary definitely uh, it, is, it will be very difficult for uh, any nucleophile to attack the central carbon atom right so this is the condition so that means in sn2 reaction so methyl chlorides are more reactive as compared to and tertiary alkyl halides are least reactive that means they won't undergo very easily into the sn2 reaction the reason was with you right so order of reactivity already i have shown right so this is you can make a points or else you can understand these concepts right so coming to the stereochemistry of sn2 reaction the last point is stereochemistry so stereochemistry is nothing but what all the products are forming what all the things are going on that that is nothing but the stereochemistry stereochemistry of sn2 in short, I will write stereochemistry of SN2 reaction mechanism. You can say, right? In SN2 reaction, inversion of configuration takes place. That's all. This is very important. So, most preferred alkyl halide is methyl chloride. So, you just show the reaction of SN2 with the methyl chloride. Why? Well, because already we saw the reactivity plus OH minus definitely the oh minus will go and attack from the back side why because front side attack is not possible because of the repulsion and now whenever it goes and attack from the back side definitely what happens the configuration changes this is the most important point i can say right so if it comes uh, from the back side the configuration that means see just observe this reactant as well as this product at the reactant of this alkyl halide, H groups are at the left hand side, right, from the weaver. And uh, if I, if we uh, see the after substitution, right, and directly I can say after substitution, what is happening? The H groups are uh, came towards the uh, right hand side. That means inversion. So that's why in SN2 reaction, only inversion of configuration takes place product is in the form of inversion of configuration and here so this is the simplest uh, one uh, reason or stereochemistry of sn2 everything i have explained and why and uh, sometimes you can add in the stereochemistry one more point so what is that point is nothing but the front attack is not possible in case of sn2 reaction why because at the front side then uh, already the halogen atom is present with the negative charge so negative negative repel uh, repel each other so thus in sn2 only inversion of configuration type of product for right so this is about the stereochemistry very uh, smallest one why because here there is no formation of racemic mixture there is no formation of dextro lever rotatory when i can say only a lever rotatory right so oh is at the left hand side definitely what we can call it has a level rotatory product right <coughs> so now this is uh, all about uh, i can say today's class dear student i want today's uh, i want to give our assignment right and that assignment is you must and should write that minimum five differences between sn1 and sn2 reaction mechanisms 
and please do send it on my uh, number personal number or else in the app right so i repeat your today's assignment is differences between sn1 and sn2 reaction understood sn1 and sn2 reaction minimum five difference should be there minimum five difference understood okay thank you